Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. We're learning more days after two people were killed in a shooting in Northeast Portland. And tonight, a family member of one of the victims is speaking with us about the lasting impression that her brother made before his life was taken too soon. Fox 12 Jeffrey Lindblom joins us from North Portland with what she had to say. We caught up with one of the victim's sisters here at the North Precinct after she spoke with a detective. She describes her brother, now gone, as a caring man, a provider, calls the way that he died tragic. Um, he was my big brother. He leaves behind, you know, a son, you know, and my siblings, you know, behind. We all lost our mother when we were six years old. So from there, you know, he has been playing that father figure. Alexis Montleveria says her brother, Marcel Bryant, was supposed to have a job interview next week, an interview that he'd never make it to. And it just, it just hurt. It really does hurt my heart. She says he was like a father figure, taking on responsibilities of her mother who died when they were young, describing him as a man who paid attention to those around him more and more as he got older. He was a really big part of this community, so losing him was a big thing to me and many. You know, he was supposed to come home that night. Instead, she got a phone call breaking the tragic news. I was hurt, you know, just for one, as a, as a big brother and one as like a father figure, you know, my life and my kid's life. And it just, the way he lost his life was tragic. It hurt me a lot. It was really a jab. Bryant was the father of a two-year-old and the provider for his stepchildren. You know, it hurt them the most, you know, getting that phone call too as well, you know, because daddy was always active and always there, you know. Police say they responded to a shooting here off of this stretch of Lombard, where now you can find fresh flowers and a memorial. It's the place where they say they found 27-year-old Deja Willingham dead, and nearby is where they say they found Marcel which that night for Alexis meant she didn't get that normal greeting she'd get from her brother when he'd come home. I was saying, hey sis, where you at queen? It's, it's, it's past the time, where you at? I'm gonna miss that because that was that father instinct in him. That was that provider in him. I'm gonna remember to carry on when he left on, so I'm not really missing so much, you know, cause I got him with me. He gained his wings, you know, he's at peace, he's with my mom. So look, it's, it's not, it's really nice outside. You know what I mean? It's not even that cold how it was the day he had passed, you know? So there's better days out there. And I know that he will want us to all be smiling. She says Marcel's death means his children are without their father. She says Marcel also didn't leave much money behind and she now has to pay for funeral costs, money she says she doesn't have. She's asking for the community's help in paying for that. You can find a link to a GoFundMe on our website, kptv.com. From North Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.